Thank you. Mr. Quigley. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Dr. Carson, for being here, and thank you for coming to Chicago. Absolutely. We appreciate your meeting with uh, the LGBTQ uh, <coughs> individuals community in Chicago about the non-discrimination guidance. Yes. Um, and I appreciate your listening, um, but I'm obviously very disappointed that uh, HUD's decision communicated to me versus via a March 6th letter from one of your deputies that the department will not be replacing the guidance it took down shortly after you took over helm at HUD. Um, for, for the community, this decision hurts. 40% um, of homeless youth are LGBTQ. Uh, put another way, LGBTQ Q youth are 120% more likely to become homeless and far more, far more likely to be discriminated against at, at shelters. Um, so that's frustrating. Despite this decision, a relevant HUD rule from 2012 and a regulation from 2016, they remain in effect. So uh, how will these grantees comply with the regs without this guidance, sir? Well, in fact, uh, the guidance was pretty much obliterated by the 1216 rule. And uh, we've gone back and studied it uh, very carefully and uh, concluded that putting that subregulatory guidance there actually confused the issue and made uh, a lot more uh, regulations uh, necessary. And we're trying to simplify things. We have not removed the rules. We have not changed the rules at all. But with, uh, sir, you in Chicago asked the question about the difficulty, for example, a front desk shelter worker who are handled identification that doesn't match the presenting gender of the bearer. The presenting gender of the bearer. That was the question you asked. I want to make sure I got it right. And the response was that's why you need the guidance. The, the grantees need this guidance to avoid the discrimination and to make clear to them what the rules are. I mean, and there are no inconsistencies there. And in addition to that, HUD missed by almost six months a deadline that was in the appropriation report to review the guidance you took down. Uh, and so you, you didn't meet the deadline and you just simply decided not to put the guidance up. And if anything's confusing, so wouldn't working on the guidance help resolve what you are saying is confusion? Well, uh, the agreement was that the guidelines would be reviewed. It wasn't that they would be put back up. Uh, and they were reviewed, and it was concluded that the 16, 2016 rules uh, obliterated the guidance that was there and confused the issue. Uh, the rules stand as they are. We've not made any attempt to change them. Well, uh, and that has incredibly confused this issue even further, sir, your answer today. So why don't we start over? Okay. Put, the, regardless of how HUD in D.C. views this, across the country, people are being discriminated against, and they're falling victim to crime and all the other issues that come with being homeless and not being able to get into a shelter. So despite the fact that I wholly disagree with you that 2016 obliterates anything, there is still a lack of guidance. So if all you're doing is drawing guidance from 2012 and trying to clarify 2016, doesn't it make sense to create new guidance and post that so the grantees know and that the youth of this country know that they have rights and that they can't be discriminated against. Uh, f from my conversations with uh, many uh, legal experts throughout government, my suspicion is that you would probably uh, dislike the sub-regulatory guidance that would be put up and that this provides you with considerably uh, more freedom. Are you suggesting that doing nothing provides greater protection by putting no guidance up on the website is, is providing this? I'm suggesting that you might not like the gui sub-regulatory guidance that was put up. And why is that? Just I'm be a glutton for punishment. Be because so. you probably wouldn't agree with it. Because it, because it goes along with this allowing people to discriminate against LGBTQ the youth? The rules that are there 
allow people uh, to uh, have a non-discriminatory atmosphere, and that's what we are trying to achieve. So if it says you can't have a discriminatory atmosphere, why don't, why don't you have guidance that posts that and instructs them not to discriminate? The rules already say that. Well, where's the, even if we go around and around, where's the guidance for that? If, if you have a rule that tells you what to do, you don't need more guidance on that. All right. We are all now more stupid than we were when we came in the room today, sir. Thank you. <laughs>